Welcome to Emily's Home Sweet Home, the fun little game by Gamehouse Studios, which if you haven't been watching the previous episodes I've recorded, if you want to follow the story, you really should, but basically you play as Emily, you serve food in various restaurants, and there's a story around Emily's house and her various friends and antagonists. This time around, this should be episode 40, because I'm about to do scenario 40, and that will make it the two-thirds mark, as there are ten episodes in a ski lodge, and ten that look like Emily's home. But at the moment, I'm in the farmer's market for the very last time, and here we go with scenario number 40. Overstocked. Have every product fully stocked at the end of the level. Well, that should be interesting. I don't have enough money to buy the last table and chairs, which is the only other thing I could buy. And I don't think there's any changes I can make to my menu to get different foods. Yep, that is the refreshing fruity water. Everything else is at its highest level. So, straight into the story. There she is, it's the Historical Society. Working at Snugford's third oldest continuous farmer's market, no less. Emily, we convinced the council, though Geikenflesher's, through Geikenflesher's words, not to register your home as a landmark. Really? Thank you so much! There is one condition, however. Name it. Would like to replace the attic window with stained glass. It will be a tribute of sorts to Glycanflesher. We'll be happy to pay for it. A craftsman will be by the house tomorrow. Deal! Okay. Soup and some cauliflower seeds. I need the paintbrush for that one. Take that. We, will... we need you to entertain those people. We need to do that. And... I need you to entertain that table. That's everything I think fully stopped for the moment. Oh no, they can go up to six, possibly seven. Okay, I'm not entirely sure how much stock those fruits can take. Is it seven? Is that the maximum? No, eight. Oh, I heard the mouse. Oh, he's hiding down there. All right, let's take your money. Get a soup and one of those. Get a vase and some cauliflower seeds. Clean that table. Take your money. Get an apple pie. Take your money. Okay, the max I can have of these things is eight. How many of these can I have? Oh, I need to have you entertained. I need to pick up the... Soup and an apple pie. Don't know if I can actually create any more of you. No, okay. You do two vases. Clean that table. Entertain that table. Nuts and a vase for you. Lots of nuts for these people. Oh, too many nuts. And I need the paintbrush again. Entertained. I need to take your money. Let's go get another 
apple, an apple pie, a cherry pie, and a carrot quiche. I need a strawberry train can I have those. Strawberry drink a soup. That. And that table will take your money. I need another strawberry to keep that fully stocked. I need the carrots fully stocked. Ah, uh, I need that and a birdhouse. I'd like you to entertain those people, please. It's not a birdhouse, it's something else, but we need to create another one to keep that fully stocked. <laughs> Okay, an apple pie, a soup, and a cherry drink for you. On each of those for you. Grab that, then we'll get the money. Cherry. Oh, we need you to entertain that lot. You to clean that table. Another apple. Everything else appears to be fully stocked, apart from my man eating another nose. everything fully stopped so yes I completed the task as well and I unlocked the sunflower by finishing the farmers market so here we are back in pages page and Emily's garden here comes moon blossom and Hemingway glad you could make it thanks for having us over the last couple of days have been a real bummer you must be Patrick. Moon Blossom. What? How? I was coming to see you later. I I found a job in town. I I'm supposed to do a stained glass window for the owners of this house. That's us. It's fate, that's what it is. I'm so glad you haven't gone away. Would you give me another chance? I would love to, but right now I really have to get to work. The window can wait. Why don't you two go enjoy yourselves while we watch Hemingway? Thanks, Emily! Emily's a good person. And Hemingway's happy playing in Paige's garden. Now oh, I've got the stained glass in. Oh, now what? So that's Sharon, the antagonist and pain in this game. Martin, it's me. Never mind why I'm whispering. I need to do some more research into building and restaurant codes. Well then, dig deeper this time. I want to up the ante on our friends. As long as I'm alive, this house will never be a home. Nice person, that Sharon. I got three stars. I completed the task and found the mouse. A good day's work. Okay, that was the 40th and final scenario at the farmer's market. Now I'll move on to the ski resort. 
I've also got something I can do in Emily's home. How many diamonds do I actually have? One. Okay. I have one diamond. That's fully done. That means wait, it's needing two pictures. There's a whole lot of stuff I can that's needed in the attic. However, I can buy something. I can buy one of two things in this bedroom. Fragrant flowers. I love it when Patrick brings, brings flowers home. They fill the room with such a lovely smell. Or heart-shaped candlestick. I like to have a candlestick in our bedroom, don't you? Let's have the candlestick. Okay, well that's my last diamond used up. That makes a little bit of progress on the bedroom. Bathroom's done. Sitting room's almost done. This part is not even started yet. And Emily's, uh, Emily's Paige's bedroom is starting to fill up with bits and pieces. You can't buy these, you just have to earn these. And the attic's got a long way to go. But... That's something I will work on in the next 20 episodes. And that's where I'm going to end this this one. Next time around it will be at the Ski Lodge. Where I will be working, doing an entirely different restaurant with entirely different challenges. As always, I hope you enjoyed and hopefully I'll see you down the road for more episodes of Emily's Home Sweet Home in the Ski Lodge. Cheerio!